back, Shane Stars with DroidMotorX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install the Paranoid Android ROM to your Nexus 10. Now, what would be the benefit of installing a ROM like Paranoid Android? Well, some of you guys are not like very happy with this UI of the Nexus 10 on Android 4.2. Um, you see your navigation buttons are here, you have your notifications here, and your toggle switch is here. Now, for most of you guys, that's great and wonderful. Uh, but Paranoid Android brings you many more options. So you can have different UIs. You can have like a hybrid tablet UI, or you can have just the normal tablet UI that you guys remember from Ice Cream Sandwich. We can bring all that to the Nexus 10. I'm going to show you guys how to install the ROM. Uh, but first, what you're going to want to do is head to the link in the description. I have a guide on how to unlock, root, and install custom recovery on the Nexus 10. We're using a toolkit in that guide by mSkip. Uh, which makes it totally easy, it makes it uh, incredibly easy to do that process to get you ready for installing a custom ROM. As soon as you have your Nexus 10 unlocked with root and custom recovery, you want to head to the link in the description and I'll have download links for Paranoid Android and the Paranoid Android G apps. As soon as we get this installed, I'm going to kind of do a quick run through of the ROM, so you'll want to stick around for that as well. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and enter the bootloader mode. So the way that you'll do that is you'll want to hold uh, both volume rocker buttons and the power button at the same time. That will bring you to this screen and then you'll just scroll over to the recovery mode and hit the power button to boot into recovery. Now before you install a ROM I highly recommend that you go ahead and back up your stock system uh, so like that Android 4.2 in case you want to go back to it maybe you don't like Paranoid Android once it's installed and you want to just go back to stock rooted you'll be able to restore that as long as you have a backup so we're just going to go ahead and back that up it shouldn't take long maybe you know five minutes at most I'm going to pause it here and we'll return once that is completed okay so when that finishes you'll get a backup complete successful message we're not going to reboot the system we're just going to go back we'll go back again now if we go to restore You'll see that we have our backups there. They just go by date, so I made one a couple days ago and then I made one today. Just remember the date and you'll always be able to restore to that point. Now that includes all of your applications, all of your app information, everything just the way you left it, it will restore to that point. So we'll go back and we'll go to install. Actually, you know what? We'll go to wipe, factory reset, swipe to wipe. Now this is erasing all of our data, and then we'll go to cache, swipe to wipe, back, Dalvik cache, swipe to wipe, back. Now we can install our ROMs, so we'll go to install, and we'll go with the uh, Paranoid Android Manta. This is the latest build from December 1st, so we'll go ahead and flash that. And as soon as this finishes, before we reboot the system, we'll need to go back and flash the G apps. Now, what the G apps package does is it flashes the Play Store and also your Google applications like your Gmail, your Calendar, uh, your G Talk, uh, Google Maps, YouTube. Those are all included in the G app. If you do not flash the G apps, they're not packaged in the ROM because even though Google Android is open source, Google's proprietary applications are not open source so developers are not allowed to include them in their builds of Android. So we'll go back and install and I have it in a different let's see it's in my download folder it should be wherever you downloaded it so if you downloaded it directly to your device it should always be in your SD card download folder. So we'll go ahead and flash the G apps and we'll reboot system. I was expecting a different boot animation. Normally Paranoid Android on other devices like the Galaxy Nexus, the Nexus 7 tablet, the Transformer Prime, they came with a different boot animation. This is a very early build. It still has a few bugs in it. Um, I'm not sure what those bugs are, but there are some. Obviously it's not a final build. There's going to be bugs until the final build is released. Uh, but we see that there's not a custom boot animation here. Okay, so once the ROM is installed and booted up, it's going to bring you to the welcome screen just as if you uh, had taken your device out of the package. So what this ROM is, for those of you guys that are not familiar, uh, if this is your first ROM flash, you wouldn't know. This is just a custom version of Android, is all it is. It's just been modified, tweaked 
to make it go a little smoother and then also to add those custom modifications like the different UI. So we'll go ahead and start and we'll log into our internet. Okay, and then we'll need to log into our Google account. Okay, so setup is complete. So we'll go into our settings and I'll show you guys some of the included features of Paranoid Android. So first we'll go into our About tablet and you see that we are running Paranoid Android and it is Android version 4.2.1 so it's the latest version of Android. We'll find the customizations under the account settings. We have themes here. Now these are themes that go along with the theme chooser. You can download these from the Android market or the you can download these from the Play Store. The, anything that will work with CyanogenMod 10 or AOKP will work with the theme chooser. You have your status bar mods here so you can either choose to show the clock or hide the clock. You can show the notification count so whenever your notifications come in you'll know how many you have. It'll show that there in quick settings. You can enable or disable uh, the different toggles in your quick settings panel and you can also change the order of how they show up there in the panel as well. So we'll go into the hybrid properties. So you can actually change the layout of the UI. If we wanted to go to the standard tablet UI, we could go and just click tablet UI. So this actually requires a reboot. Do you want to continue? We'll say OK. And we'll grant super user permission. And it's going to reboot the tablet. And now we should have our tablet in the tablet UI mode. OK, so we're all rebooted up. And now you see our notifications are down here at the bottom. Like so. And our navigation buttons are over here. Uh, if we wanted to go home, now we can access the app drawer the same way that we were able to before. I guess they didn't move the app drawer up top. That's kind of what I expected, but that's not what we have. So if we go back to settings. We'll go back to the customizations and the hybrid properties. You see there's all kinds of different customizations here. We have an interface where we can customize the interface. So another thing that we do have here are the Paranoid wallpapers, which are pretty neat. And more than likely there's lots of extra stuff coming to this ROM. It's just kind of in its early phases for now. Uh, but it is one of the most stable ROMs for the Nexus 10 so far. It's one of the first. We've also got a CM10 King by Jellybro that's available and uh, not much else is out there for now. We have a stock rooted ROM obviously and then that's about it so far for the Nexus 10. Developers as they pick up their Nexus 10 we're gonna have tons of ROMs to review for the Nexus 10. Of course you guys know that it was difficult to get the Nexus 10 there for a while. It was unavailable. The 32 gigabyte model was unavailable for quite some time. So uh, developers need their extra storage and most of them were waiting on that 32 gigabyte device. But as they get their devices, we should have more ROMs to review and uh, more things to cover on this device. So you want to be sure that you are subscribed to this channel. So we'll have tons of ROM reviews and lots of coverage on the Nexus 10. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Um, I'll give you guys all the updates on this channel. Any giveaways that happen, you'll be notified on Twitter about those. And uh, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and click the subscribe button right about there. And I really do appreciate that. Thanks guys. Today I'm going to review the RPM Acetate Blue Watch by TokyoFlash.com. They sent me